Hey guys, Junior Toothy915 right here, and today we're doing the iPad 2 review a couple months later and see how it still is. So let's get started. Alright, so let me just go over the specs real quick. It is 9.7 inches measured diagonally on the screen. It has an IPS display, not a retina display, so that sucks. It has 1024 by 768 resolution and 132 pixels per inch. And it has a fingerprint resistant oleophob oleophobic coating. But yeah, this thing gets a lot of fingerprints very easily, but you can wipe it off when you get a little cloth. And it has dual core A5 processors, 1 gigahertz on each core. And it has two cameras, one in the front and one in the back right there and yeah so the back camera records 720p HD recording and I mean the quality I wouldn't say it's so bad but it's not the best quality ever and the front um, camera it has the VGA and it records 30 frames per second on both cameras and this baby has 10 hours of battery life just like the first generation iPad and it's 30 33% thinner and yeah, so it's 0 0.34 inches thick. Yeah, that's pretty thin, guys, for all of you. And it's 1.33 pounds. And it's really light, actually. Yeah. And this record, and it comes in a good bundle of choices. 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes for 500 600 and $700. And for the 3G models on the AT&T or Verizon, it's available for 629 729 829 Now I'm pretty sure that is. And yeah, so enough about the specs, that was a lot of specs. Let's go back to the camera, the device itself. So yeah, it's very thinner compared to the iPad 1. Yeah, very thin. And yeah, and it has an improved speaker grill. Let me just show you right now. Right there. Improved speaker grill, and it's very thin. I mean, you can say it's in the same shape of an iPod. Because it's not a square version anymore. Yeah. So yeah, it still has 3.5 millimeter head jack, a uh, new microphone moved to the middle, and has a lock screen button, the lock rotation and mute switch, and volume rocker, and the camera. So yeah, that's new and stuff. Um, since the dual core A processor is in the iPad 2, it is much, much faster. Uh, I think it's two times faster and nine times the graphics. And yeah, so I can show you right now of how fast it is by opening up Google. So Google.com. And as you can see it went really fast. The iPad 1 wasn't that slow, but you can see a good speed difference on here. So yeah, there's a big speed difference and let me just check out the graphics on Blood and Glore. Graphics looks the graphics are stunning. Just to let you know. <laughs> Sorry if there's a lot of lights um, shining back, but yeah, the graphics looks much, much better on the iPad 2 compared to the iPad 1. Yeah, as you can see I'm fighting here. The graphics are very fast on it, and they feel good. Anyways, enough of that. Yeah, so this thing is really good. I love it because it has a lot of HD games, and it has a good selection. And what's better about the um, new software and everything, you get iOS 5. So as you can see, I have the notification center right up there and it's really cool iOS 5 is installed and it's much better even with iCloud so yeah new things are up always up and everything's are better I mean in the iPad 2 you still get you have the new FaceTime and you get a camera and you have photo booth so let me just open up FaceTime and you can see yourself right there with the camera yeah, yeah FaceTime is awesome with the camera I get to face on my sister and photo booth is really fun. I have a lot of photos. New app. Yeah, you can take pictures, funny photos. And then the camera itself, I mean, not the best quality, but it's pretty good. It's, it's okay, I guess you can say. Yeah. So yeah, the iPad 2 is much thinner and lighter and new different, every new features and everything. It has much, um... 
different specs and everything, and yeah. So yeah, the speed on this guy is pretty good. Uh, it's a really great tablet to take out when you're watching, like, on their trip to California from South Carolina. <laughs> you have good times. And yeah, on the Wi-Fi on this guy, you won't have, um, I mean, it gets 10 hours of battery life, but if you have Wi-Fi on, it might take away a couple hours, but it's still pretty good when you're on an airplane. And it has good, you have HD selections, and I just love this thing. Ooh. So yeah, even though it's, like, way, like, Next, it's about to be 2012. You still need to get this iPad 2. Unless you want to wait for the iPad 3, which is really good. So stay tuned for more reviews and unboxings and good reviews and everything about stuff. See you guys in the next video and deuces.